Hey YouTubers, this is Miss Rachel Adina. So you guys, I'm at 30 weeks pregnant and I am exhausted. I'm more done with my pregnancy than I was in the 29th week. But you know what? God is good. I'm excited um, for what's to come. But just a quick update to let you guys know what's been going on. I am craving at the moment ravioli. I think I've I've eaten like maybe like six or seven cans of ravioli in the last week. Gross, right? <laughs> After I'm pregnant, I'm probably gonna be like, yeah, I'm never gonna eat that again. But it's crazy because I was craving the exact same thing around the same time with my last pregnancy. So, um, one horrible thing happened. Week 30 was probably the most challenging week of my pregnancy, primarily because my son got the flu, like the 2018 flu. If you don't know anything about it, go and look it up. This year's flu was supposed to be especially bad, and I can tell you that it really was. My son had a flu for seven straight days. His fever did break throughout the days, but it was a full-blown, flat-out flu. Now, um, it was kind of nice having him a little bit lethargic throughout the days. Like, we just kind of chilled. It was like cuddling and hugging. So now that he's feeling a lot better, he's really realized how much he loves to cuddle and snuggle with mama. So, I'm excited about that. <laughs> That's one of the most exciting things about him getting the flu. But unfortunately, I got the flu as well. I did not get the flu shot. My husband got the flu shot. He didn't get the flu. I got the flu and did not get the flu shot. Um, but a very wise woman told me to take a contrast shower. I don't know if you guys know anything about it. It sounds a little severe, but you take a shower um, in water as warm as you can take it, and then you take a shower in water as cold as, as you can take it. So it's like two minutes of warm water, one minute of um, very cold chilly water and I did that about five times in the shower um, after my fever broke I had so much more energy and I also um, took uh, a lot of ginger a lot of lime and a lot of honey no added sugar whatsoever and that fever and the flu that was like seven days for my son was only like two days for me and actually after the first day I felt a lot better so the flu was okay, but I wouldn't recommend you go and try to get you one because it is very, very exhausting and I was kind of scared and bugging out about the fevers. But um, I spoke to a lot of friends who are chiropractors and doulas and friends who have friends who are doulas and chiropractors and uh, midwives and they said just as long as I keep my hydration up, I'm good and I drink like 32 ounces of tea that was literally just honey, ginger, and lime, and I felt incredible the next day. So, you guys, um, I'm here to talk to you guys about something in this pregnancy, and every pregnancy, and that is, I have a pregnancy. And yes, this is a word made up by me, but I have noticed, like I would like to think that I'm really nice and lovely just like oh you know cool vibes good vibes you know I'm not gonna let anybody take away my chill and my relax you know I'm about to just you know have my zen going but unfortunately I am not that pregnant type of woman you will definitely catch some hands when Rachel is pregnant I'm a really nice person I can have people who can vouch for me for that but this is only a five to seven minute video, so I'm gonna tell you guys really quickly and briefly about that. But the reality is, is when you're pregnant, and a lot of people don't know that, so if you're not pregnant and you have some friends and you've been wondering like, why is she acting this way? Listen, the baby is sitting on this woman's nerves. This one in this video in particular. And I just don't have any more room on my nerves for anybody else. So typically, if you had it coming when I wasn't pregnant, you're going to get it when I am pregnant. <laughs> so that is one of my number one symptoms of my pregnancy is that you will probably get a little bit more shade when I'm pregnant because I just don't have the time. I don't. I'm exhausted. I don't get any sleep. And so the reality is 
is if I'm upset with you when I'm not pregnant, I'm probably even more upset and ready to fight when I am pregnant. But anywho, you guys, on a happier note, I want you guys to see how my belly has grown. I think it's gotten bigger. Um, I'll let you see for yourself. So here we go. This is my belly. It's, it's gotten bigger. As you can see this, there's a little bit of bulging on the sides. What's wrong? Listen, he is definitely all about the hugging and the kissing after he's been sick, so I'm really excited about it. But anyway, you guys, this is my belly. I've had a, a, a good bit of bulging um, around the sides, and I'm afraid that this baby is, a gun, is about to take my waistline, and I'm feeling some type of way about it. What do you think? You think this baby's going to take my waistline? No, it's not going to take it. Ooh. Because you know it's about to snap back? Yeah, you have the, the pregnancy, post-pregnancy clap back, snap back, waist, waist back. <laughs> <laughs> waist back? Let me give you guys a little bit of proof. Boop! I'm about to put a video right there. I'm about to put a boop! A video right there. Boop! A picture right there. Sure will. But you guys, yeah, that's my belly. Um, and what else? My my uh, pregnancy walk has been, I don't know. I would like to think it was sexy, but I've been walking around like Red Fox. If you don't know who that is, that's Fred Sanford. And it's, 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 it's not cute. So I'm ready to be done. So you guys, I cut my hair. And I made a video for you guys to see how to cut your hair. So uh, after this video, you guys can go watch that. And my last pregnancy symptom, or just something that's been going on throughout my pregnancy, is anxiety. <sighs> that's something I typically don't like to talk about on my channel, but it's real. And I'm just honestly like, I'm scared out of my mind that I'm about to have two kids. A little girl, a, a newborn baby girl, and a two-year-old boy. That sounds terrifying to me. So if you guys have any tips, any tricks that you did when you had your babies, um, some things that made it easier for you during the first um, week or the first two weeks postpartum, that'll be awesome. Engage me in the comment section. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.